Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her BLT sandwiches for y'all today. Yep. And here's everything that you'll need. It's gonna be maple flavored bacon, but you can have any type of bacon that y'all like. But this really is good. Yeah, and That's then you'll need lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise. And it's all on the table, we'll make your sandwich for you today. But we're gonna put the bacon in here now. We already got some made. So we're gonna put our bacon in here. And then we'll get our tomatoes and our lettuce all chopped up and uh, make our BTL. BTL? How you say BLT. it? BLT. BLT. <laughs> I'm almost kind of backwards here, ain't she? But uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. And that's all you do. You put it in there and just keep it on medium. And then Corey's already got some made up. So, uh, Let's go in here to table. You just put it on a medium and yeah. let it fry for a minute. Yeah. And we're right here beside of it, so. My stove and my table's close together. Now we're going to cut up our uh, tomatoes here. And if you like cheese, uh, that's optional. You can put cheese if you want yeah. cheese. We but, just got shredded right now, so we're just going to put a little bit of yeah, shredded cheese on there. No, uh, sliced cheese so we're we're going to cut our tomatoes up i like mine kind of thin you know i love this knife it's one of them rota knives i've had it for years but they are really good and they last a long time and i heard them to say that um they replace them if they get dull or uh tear up we got these tomatoes today and they are really soft. I like mine a little bit firm, but it'll work. It'll work. I'm gonna put this in here. We do one more, and my chickens like the ends. And uh, yeah, my chickens are, we let them out every evening to get some green grass, but I keep them up. At, I leave the gate open I let them out about four or five o'clock just before dark. And then uh, at dark, they go in and go to roost. And um, hand me that uh, um, paper towel. And uh, they go to bed. So uh, then Milton goes up there and shuts the door because we have predators. They come here and go in there and get our chickens or get our eggs. But we get, we get our eggs every day. Every morning and every evening, we gather eggs. Let me get this off so it won't be running everywhere. Yeah, I like my cutting mats here. Okay, then we're going to cut the lettuce up. But first, I'm going to check my bacon. Every now and then, you have to bacon. come back over here and give it a flip. Yeah. Yeah. It's still probably... But we'll go ahead and flip it. That's the reason it's good to have your table beside your stove, isn't it? You run backwards and forwards to it. So, but, but bacon is really good. Expensive, but good. You know, we don't have bacon all the time, just once in a while. Milton's family, well, we did when we first got married and moved here. We had a pig. And, uh, we had pigs and cows, and we got older, we kind of done away with it. We had goats, and uh, then Milton got hurt, hurt his knee, cutting some trees down. The saw kicked back and hit him in the knee, and he, he couldn't, uh, he's just going to cut some of this lettuce up a little bit. And, um, Anyway, he couldn't walk on his leg for a while, and he swelled up and got infected, and so I think that's when we had the goats, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, my knees, I had arthritis in my knees, and uh, so we just, we sold our goats because we couldn't take care of them. And then uh, we just get a cow every once in a while, and we have it butchered, so, but we keep our chickens. I got my chickens. Now, here's what we're going to do. I need me another plate. Give me them saucers there. We're going to make some sandwiches. 
so we'll put and the bacon I like my pretty dishes I love them and then what we're gonna do here here's gonna, the bacon that already made earlier yeah now Corey made this so he says you put he makes sandwiches all the time he says you he likes sandwiches and you put three one way and then you put three the other way diagonally this is the way he told me to do it so he already knows how to fix good stuff well i think two's only going to fit on it and then we'll put a slice of bacon how many salt i mean slice of tomato i'm gonna put one go there we'll salt it a little bit then we'll put a little bit of lettuce Something that I forgot to mention, you're supposed to put the lettuce first and you're supposed to put the bacon on top of the lettuce. Oh, if, sorry, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very important step because if you uh, put the bacon directly onto the bread, it'll make the bread soggy oh, if well. it's freshly cooked. And then if you put it on the lettuce, if you put the lettuce first and you put the bacon on top of that, it's perfect and it, your bread doesn't get soggy. See, there he's learning me something. I don't always make sandwiches. <laughs> okay, then what we do, we get the... And if you want cheese, you can sprinkle cheese on it. Well, American uh, sliced cheese is what we usually have, but we don't have none here today. So, so Corey said he likes that. And uh, then we'll take our other piece of bread. So. Here's our other one in here. And look at this handy thing somebody sent me. It goes in the jar. It goes in big jars too. So. Somebody sent that. It's made to dip out of the jar so you can get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Neat, isn't it? So you put this on here. And there's one sandwich for somebody. And I'll fix another one. We'll turn this first again. Watch this real close. Another thing that's mandatory is you're supposed to put pepper onto the mayonnaise. Like before you put the bread with the mayonnaise on it, you put sprinkle the pepper onto the mayonnaise and it sticks to it. See, my mom's an old time cook. We didn't make very many sandwiches. And here's what it'll look like afterwards. It's a BLT sandwich. Yeah. And then we take a knife. What's this? Yeah, and you and cut this it. is the way my mom always fixed us sandwiches. She always cut it like this. I always cut mine diagonally too. It just makes it better. And then that one fell off. See how yummy that looks. Yep. That's a sandwich now. Corey knows how to make sandwiches, doesn't he? So. Yeah, that's a top tier A class sandwich. And we'll make another one. So if Papa wants one. We've been to Beckley today. I had a doctor's appointment. They had to switch my medicine around, my high blood pressure. Now what do we do first? You put the lettuce first. Well, these, these bacons have already cooled off, so it doesn't matter too much because yeah. it ain't going to make your bread soggy where these ones has already cooled yeah. down. That's what I was thinking too. But if you got a hot... Salt. If you got a hot bacon, then you don't want to put it directly on the bread or your bread will just be like liquid. It, your bread will just be falling apart. You won't even be able to pick it up. Yeah, he's going to be leaving. Saturday. Got three more days. Three more days here. We're going to try to do some um, videos, but uh, and see what we can uh, get around. And he's going to save them and maybe show them every once in a while. Me and him doing stuff. So you might see a video every once in a while. Uh, uh, I'm going to have like a few videos backed up that we're not going to upload until I'm already there. So I'll upload a video of Mama probably once a week while I'm there. It is if he has time. <laughs> yeah, like even this video, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it right after we're done with it. Or I might be in the Philippines whenever I'm uploading this video. Yeah. 
But we're trying to thank you, y'all, and make sure you don't forget us. Because when he comes back, we're going to get started again. And there's that one. Now, let me go in here again and check my meat. You can make them different, too. Like, this one don't have cheese on it. If you don't like cheese, then don't put the cheese on it. And your bacon, you don't want to fry it real hard all the time. You take it off and it keeps frying. Yeah. You want to take it off right before it's fully done, and it'll it'll finish cooking while it's on the plate. Yeah. And if you get it too done, it'll be way too crunchy. It's hard to eat. Yeah. So I think these are already done. And Corey's got a plate. Is this your plate you've had here? Uh, no, that's the one that had the, uh, the bacon raw bacon plate. on it. Okay, we're just going to push it to the side. So that's the... See how it is? Take it off. Y'all make sure to keep y'all's bacon grease. After you're done with this, you dump it out into yeah. a cup or something. Yeah, we save our bacon grease. We make gravy with it. Uh, you can make bacon gravy. And here it is from what I made earlier. I dump it out into this cup. And uh, in November, see, I, I save my oil and stuff. When I use it just once, I save it because I make gravy and stuff. But um, when Corey comes back, I know some of you are interested in it. I'm going to be making, uh, in November, I'll be making some squirrel gravy and frying some squirrel up and, and do something that my kids tell me I'm gross, but I love squirrel brains. You take your squirrel and you boil them up and then you uh, take them and put them in a the frying pan and fry them for a little bit. And uh, you save your grease off your uh, broth and your uh, grease off of what you fry your uh, squirrel in. And then you uh, take that uh, grease and the broth and you make your gravy. But I take the squirrel, it's just got a little bit of meat on it. And you can uh, take the squirrel off the uh, meat off the squirrel's legs. It's not got very much meat on it. Put it in the gravy and just eat it. And me, I take the squirrel head. They skin them all out real good, all the fur stuff off from it, wash them up real good. And then I take the squirrel head and uh, uh, get the brains out of the head. You just crack it on the head and it just comes right open. You just take the brain out and eat it. And it's, it is good. And people say, <laughs> my daughters are laughing at me. <laughs> but I have never tried um, hog brains, but ain't it hog brains? But now my daughter, she's coming in Friday. We're going to be doing some uh, uh, Mexican uh, uh, videos or uh, she's going to make some Mexican food or Spanish food. And um, But anyway, she laughs at me when I do that too. Uh, but it's good. But they use hog brains. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Mexicans, they uh, cook the hog's head and they eat the brains and stuff too. Well, their husbands did, you know, so I don't know. But it is good. The squirrel brains are good. I don't know about the whole brains. I ain't never tried them. And I need to make some liver for y'all, too. I can make chicken liver and beef liver. That is good, too. You know, I got still got a lot of recipes and stuff. And sometimes, like I did yesterday, uh, I'll see, uh, I'll be on Facebook, and I'll see recipes. And it don't say who they are. It's just rec random recipes. And I go ahead and try some of them, you know, because they look good. But, um, and I'll share them with y'all too. But, uh, and after a while I'll fix some, uh, I'm gonna make another video with um, pudding on it. Like the chocolate gravy I make, well you can put flour in that and make a pudding. So I'll be doing that video too and he might put it on later on. But anyway, God is good. And I know he's gonna take care of Corey while he's gone. Everybody's praying for him. You know, he's gonna have a good time and see all that scenery and stuff and uh, get married and, I, I believe he's going to have a good time over it. It looks beautiful over what I've seen that she shows, you know. It looks beautiful over there. But anyway, um, can't wait to see his wedding pictures. Uh, I hope he uh, video if they have one. But, uh, you know, I can't wait to see all their cooking over there too. But y'all have a good day. Love y'all. Take care. And we'll do some videos and he'll be showing them over there. Uh, and the chocolate gravy she was just not talking about, if y'all want to see her chocolate gravy recipe, y'all can find that on the playlist. It says all videos, non-shorts. Yeah. If y'all want to check it out. So. 
That's and I, I forgot to cut one of them up, but you, you can leave it whole or you can cut your sandwich however you like it. I think this one's cut. Is it cut? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But that's all for today. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. But we thank y'all so much for everything. And we love y'all. And God bless y'all. Amen. God bless every one of you. We love y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.